time to uh, race bikes but I am racing next week. No. Um, we'll have more on that later. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Over to Lewis. Um, yeah, so I come from South Wales. Yes. I want the rest of the EJ crew. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I've been racing for about five years now. Um, Where are those in South Wales? Uh, Swansea. Oh, uh, Swansea. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look how nervous he is. Look, he's like this, playing with his... Yeah. Now, I know you've been wanting to say something because he's been practicing this. Yeah. Welcome to Pin TV Live. Go y so y delay de Pin TV. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's Spanish? Yeah, that's spot on. Yeah. Yeah. French. French. In Welsh. In Welsh. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> <That's> Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, just uh, this year now, and, and uh, last year as well, actually, just been having a Charlie um, with, with the races, so, you know, marketing, and then setting up and and you find time to race in between it all as well. Pretty successfully, yeah. I have. Yeah. This weekend, yeah. He's flying at the moment, Bruce. Yeah. Yeah. You are going well. I've been watching some of your videos. Um, you have been uh, flat out, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just, yeah. I just like doing it. Yeah. Like, it just kills time at uni as well. So yeah. You spend so long, and the goal is videos on my laptop. It's just why not? Yeah. Just show everyone what, what Do you get got. quite a bit of spare time to ride your bike being at uni? 
probably not spare time. Like, like it's probably not riding time because yeah. less all my less is like midday. Right. So it's normally gym. Yeah. Less is yeah. whatever. You find the student loan helps you. Yeah. I get like more money. For we're, the we're basically paying for him to I ride his bike. I thought the Welsh people got more money for stuff like that. Didn't they? Yeah. I don't care though. Get free prescriptions, yeah. I don't care. I'm not that old yet. <laughs> so, um, I mean, where, where did it all begin for you, Lewis? Where did it all begin for you when it comes to riding? Um, I can remember one day my dad did a job for somebody. Yeah. Um, Steve Roberts down Swansea. Um, he said, "Oh, bring your bikes up. You know, we, we go to have an hour out by the um, bike park." Yeah. So I thought, "Oh, yeah, it's gonna go." So me and my dad went up. Um, I had a Merida hardtail. I did the wall. Yeah. So it was pretty rough when it was on a hard tail, it didn't really work. And I just remember the brakes not working. Yeah. And I just, I loved it. My, my dad moves and like, why are you going so fast? He's like, I can't stop. Yeah. But uh, me and my dad went every Sunday then. And we were just getting like fit and fast and enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. And then I just met a load of boys in, in my class from common with uh, his boys, Grant boys, really su- su- successful riders. Come give down a little bit, so I had this trail bike and did my first race in Riola. And then when was this? What year? Two thousand. I'm gonna guess two thousand twelve. Oh God! Wow. God! How young is he? Uh, How old are you now? Twenty. 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 So it was like full was fly, full <laughs> full fly downhill kit, big body armor, high tops on. <laughs> Didn't even make it to the end. Big crash. Oh really? And then my, my mum was like, "You're not doing that again." Mm. I was like, oh, I loved it. I loved it. I believe your mum's watching tonight. Your mum and dad are watching. All family are watching. Yeah. yeah. But okay. I watched my mum. Right. You haven't told her you had a big crash yesterday, then, though. She probably seen the video on Facebook. Mm. Mm. I wasn't meant to tell you that, mum. Sorry. Uh, I told her. He's all right. We give him a bit of a rub down. Yeah, we gave him a good cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what about you? Me? Gosh. Uh, I actually started riding motorbikes before I rode bikes. Uh, motocross bike when I was about six, yeah. the age of 14. Living, growing up on a farm. It's pretty much free for all what you can do. Oh, Whereabouts? Gloucestershire. Gloucester. Gloucestershire, yeah. You did race motocross, did you? No, I never did. Just no. raced myself around the farm. Much to the did you win? Audience. No, I got an environmental health order against me at the age of 12. So. <laughs> did you? Yeah, I kind of had to stop that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then we took on bikes brother and me, usual things, oil cans in the back garden, scaffold planks, yeah, crazy yeah. stuff. More injuries, more pedals to shins, you name it. Uh, eventually did my first race in 2004, which was the English Champs of Galway. So how old are you then, Charlie? I'm 40 this year. So. You're quite late to race in then. Yeah, really yeah. late to race. Well, I was late to race you were probably yeah. late to race in. And was that downhill? Downhill, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Did it on a hardtail. And, uh, Actually won. <laughs> did you? Yeah, it's good. Great yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's probably good fun. So how many seasons did you do in actual racing downhill or did you just do the odd race or I did. Did you quite a bit? Three seasons on a hardtail. Right, well that's the best uh, in that is for a hardtail. Then I got a full sus and it just felt wrong. Mm. And my last race was actually a Kung Khan. Uh Dragon Downhill. Kung Khan I think it's Yeah, season. we used to do all them. 2008, yeah. 2009. It was the year after Steve Peake was there for the MPS. Yeah. And he went round the um, he went round the hip jump rather than over it and won by like half a second. Yeah. Yeah. Still won. Remember the hard tail days. Yeah. We, the hard well, we used to do a bit of training on the hard tails and there's no doubt that it's the best thing for you, isn't it? Yeah, it teaches you to be smooth. I, I ride sure. hard tails a bit this yeah. winter and I don't normally ride on I've never really been much hard tail ride, apart from when we had jump bikes back yeah. in the day. Yeah. And when you do get back on full suspension, you feel like a demon, don't you? <laughs> you do, yeah, yeah. 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 I think it's yeah. at this point that anybody that rode a hardtail yesterday at Eastridge wants a pat on the back. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. I mean, yeah. we'll come to that shortly, but that was rough yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I just can't believe that people were riding, <laughs> and some of the lads on hardtails, they were going some. Mm. And yeah, uh, we'll talk about that shortly. But yeah. So yeah. back in the day, um, your biggest influences are someone you looked up to that sort of made you want to ride or um, um, any influence? Anyone? I'm not too sure about influence, but like my dad was um, not pushy, but like if I wanted to go ride when I, when I obviously couldn't drive, he'd be like, oh, yeah. let's, let's go. Yeah. So every Sunday he would take me out if he was snowing, he would go. And then probably influences 
now. Probably like Ryan's like being odd cool. Just because it's stylish. Because I like doing videos. Yeah. They, do, they do great videos and stuff like that as well. So it's great to have a little mix of everyone to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's so 13 years ago, am I right in saying you'd have probably started racing downhill? Yeah. So, 27? Yeah, right. Can you have influences at 27? <laughs> Can you have somebody to look over that age? I did, but funny enough, he was a uh, crossover sports for the same as me, Sean Palmer. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm That's not a bad bloke to be looking ah, up to, though, is it? I think everybody's looked up to him. Probably good. So, um, Did you see his autograph today somewhere? Yeah, I did, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah in Jim's uh, man cave. It's on the wall. Yeah, yeah, Jim's yeah. best mate. He loves Jim. Yeah, oh, yeah we got on well with him, Matt. Yeah. Well, I'm a good bloke. Funny enough, I met Sean Pump in 98 in Val doing a snowboard on the, um, yeah, yeah. On the Border yeah. Cross tour. And it was a long time, and I met him at the Forest of Dean a couple yeah. of years ago. And it was just, Lovely guy, mm. it's, you know, inspirational for what he's done for sport. And, you know, his first millionaire in extreme sports. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's just right. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. 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 Just, Decent guy. Just look at the bottom comment. Bot bottom comment. <laughs> Well, what have we got? Again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We better look at some comments while we've we're got here, quite a few coming in actually, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, I think. Uh, evening, evening hello, uh, who was that saying evening? Ah, oh, Smiley. Uh, smiley, yeah, he said. Four cross rider. Yeah. He did all right the weekend, didn't he? He did our, our new rider, Smiley. He's uh, he still races BMX mm -hmm. and he's uh, a dab hand. Yeah. Um, and we're introducing him next week, Smiley. He was going to be on last week, and obviously. He didn't because we went didn't. riding instead. Well, we did go riding <laughs> and we went to our trails, didn't we? Yeah. And someone's, uh, someone's got a fancy BMX just to race as well. Do you race BMX yeah, as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> An old school BMX. I got an old red line. Yeah. Yeah. How old is that? Oh, How old? What year? 2004. Well, I got a 97 Challenger. Oh, beat me. <laughs> and I've threatened to sell it about 20 times and then you realise that it's probably worth about, well, 300 quid. And, yeah. you, and there'll be a point where Undoubtedly, you'll go. We shan't solve that because that's 20 years now. Yeah. In five years, it's vintage. The thing is, BMX is not take up that trail. Not going to take up. No. no, I did have a go at riding it at some local trails about four years ago, and uh, after probably 30 seconds, I stopped riding it because it's so twitchy <laughs> after riding it. Yeah, it's a cool thing to have. They are cool. And hopefully, uh, my boys are here, and you know, maybe in 30 years, I'll still have it. Yeah. They'll probably flogged it to buy some. Still got my arm deal. Have you? Which one's that? My new snap. Oh, ever oh. since I started racing, my first ever bike. Yeah. So downhill, full cross. It always amazes oh, me how, how people suddenly say, "Oh yeah, I've got my original bike." Um, oh, I wish I had mine. That old Tommy Missa replica. Yeah, I mean Jim was notorious for having a, a bike that every is, month nobody else has got. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, if you'd have capped half the bikes you've got, you'd have a few quid worth. Yeah. Yeah. The old but I'd have never afforded the next one. Well, not really, no. <laughs> no. James was saying yesterday, James Alloway, a uh, mate of ours, he's got um, an old Pace, and he's got a, his first, I think he's got his original Super 8. Has he? Yeah. That's my first Daniel bike. Yeah. Do you know these people who've got all their bikes from back in their history from day one? I always think they earn a lot more money than me. Well, I, I flogged a lot. Yeah. Everything I had, I flogged it all. Yeah, I can't even find my lizard suit anywhere. No. no. <laughs> so, favourite tracks, boys? What are your favourite tracks? Oh, me. Uh, it has to be up to Ez, Mega Avalanche qualifying course. Ooh. It's a bit of a long one, but it's just when you get it right, it's just. Mad cap, high speed, off the brakes. You've got some good avalanche stories, which we'll get to in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they are quite impressive. Yeah. Um, what about you? Probably the Riola. Riola? That's where I did my first race. Yeah. That's where I go to a bit training. And it's just, it's just a big track. You, know, you can't rest on that track. It's full on. And on a trail bike. It's, it's a proper track, isn't it? And on a trail bike. Race, uh, well. back we did, it was a dragon, we used to drive dragon races. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't Riola that had loads of midges, was it? I know. It was, loads of, it was damp, loads of midges, you get eaten alive. Riola was like Star Wars section, big rocky on the top, and then when you go in, it's like... That was pretty much every dragon race, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. yeah. What's your favourite track? What's my favourite track? I've never asked track? you. Well, I don't really know. <laughs> it's hard when you put on the spot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I like some of the ones at Bike Park Wales, actually. Although I do love Loam. I tell you what, I like that. That, that five-minute track at Bringewood that we discovered last winter. 
five minute enduro track. The secret one, you mean? Yeah, that's the one, the one that we can't talk yeah, about. It's gone now. That one. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, they were brilliant. We had yeah. some good winter ride in there. Yeah, yeah. really good. Oh. How long is that? 17 if I buy hand guards, how much faster will I be from Kyle Fletcher? So that's a, that is a question. We're gonna, you're running hand guards, aren't you? The yeah. EDS hand guards. The, only day just, them. the question <laughs> I've got for you on the hand guards is: Do your parents know about this? I mean, have you sat yeah, them down and said, "Look, have you had this, the talk?" Yeah, they have the talk. Sorry, guys. I'm, you know, I don't mean to let you down, but I'm running hand guards. It's every yeah. parent's nightmare. Really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy was like, do you want them? I was like, yeah, I guess, you know. And when you, like, when you decided to run them, did you sort of switch your status on social media to I run hand guards? Yeah, no. Just, no. Just, just let so people know right, slowly. I've got a photo up and I do a good yeah, kind of reactions, yeah. I'll tell you that one. Okay, well I can't take them at teams because I ran them at one yeah. race, you know. But and why have you taken them off? Because I don't want to add any more weight with really. it. <laughs> why else? To why, else you, bike. So, why else did you take them off? Um, would you actually run them? Yeah, I would run. I tell you what, uh, we just had confirmation that we can do Mega Avalanche this year. We're going over there to do a film, which will be like when we did it in, what was the year when it was wet and horrible and I hated it? 2014. Yeah. yeah. And I said I'd never go back because we got the year when it was just disgusting. It was but I got in touch with them and they got back and said, yeah, we loved your articles. Come and do it for Pin TV. <laughs> so we're going over there and I'm putting the hand guards on for that because what do the friends like to do? Yeah, yeah and the naughty. Bricks. Bang your brake on when they go past anything to make you crash. Uh, so anything that helps really, isn't it? Yeah. Keep so. your hands warm on the glass here as well. Yeah, too, that's so. true. Yeah, yeah. 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 Joking apart, that would definitely, like with motocross and stuff, on a cold day if you've got hand guards on, you know, I've done loads of races where it's been icy in the morning and your fingertips are absolutely freezing. Yeah. Do you remember that dirt, I think it was a dirt day, we did it at um, Apex and the ground was, you know, it was really frozen and everybody's fingers were just like, it was completely yeah, yeah. So there is a time and a place. I think it would that much, I think it would that much. But they do have their strength in the When I did the yeah, hair totally. scrambles, remember I used to run the heated grips? They were oh, amazing. They were so, so nice. Easy. This is a race in the snow and that. like Jim to have something different. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Probably a big bike is yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, I, mean, I, remember when I, them, I remember when I had them I heated grips on and I'd left them on when the weather started warming up and I had a switch on it and the switch broke and they were on when it was like warm. I remember and that, and I couldn't yeah. ride. My yeah. hands were too hot, my hands were sweating. Yeah. Like, the people had trouble with the... Um, yeah, yeah. used to have trouble on a, like a real hot race, which is three hours, bikes overheating. He had a fan on his radiator. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. Fan. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, I like my motorbike gizmos when I was racing. Yeah. Are we looking at comments? Yeah, yeah uh, Cooper. Cooper's still waiting for his hand guards, apparently. Yeah. You Alex, get, you'll get them. It's all right. Alex Williams, uh, favourite track at Eastridge, Jim? Oh, great. Favourite track at Eastridge? Uh, oh, wow. It's definitely. Um, <laughs> is it an official one? No. Oh, uh, yesterday, is it? We're on a nice unofficial one. There's a, some, some, stage, yeah. stage two, which was, is it 98? I never know, because they call it all different names. 93 yeah. Zippy. 93 Zippy. Uh, I like we it. To, we ought to ask and get proper confirmation. Stage two yesterday. It's 93 Zippy, but I always call it 93. Yeah, me 93. too. 93, so. yeah. It's that one because last year uh, I did the British Enduro. And did right on my first one. podium on the Enduro and I won that stage. And the fact that I beat Titley was like one of my <laughs> life goals. He's sat at home now, yeah. probably watching, just yeah. saying something. I will just say I beat him in that stage and he won it overall, obviously. Uh, but big respect for Titley, he's a mint rider. But that's, to, that's why I was so happy, just yeah. to get one over on him on that stage. I was like, oh my God. I mean, you compete with him, don't you? I try. Yeah, I still think yeah. I'm freaking beating you, though. Mm. I think he's racing this weekend on his oh. jump bike. <laughs> Not quite. Not quite, but I got lucky. Um, um, best result, boys. What's your best ever result? I think I know yours. So you go first, Louis. You go first, Louis. Cup car last year. And what I was that? I won my first ever race, and it's the only race I've ever won in my life. In the seniors? Seniors, yeah. Um, there's a couple of boys were there, like Charles and all that, which was pretty quick. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Ringwood. Rat Boy. <laughs> That's Dave, Dave Lawley's young lad. Yeah, Rat Boy. Oh, yeah, That's Ringwood, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah I mean, and uh, Dave did show me that he wasn't hurt, that it's, a, it's an evil crash. That's, I tell you what, it's kind of He's similar going to some, what isn't he? Todd did. I love it, Ken holding the bars, you know? <laughs> So Dave, get in touch and uh, give us your details and we'll sort you out with a nice pair of sax pants. Um, more questions. We need to talk to you mm. about mm. that year. That year. Mega Avalanche. Mm. Yeah. And a certain set of envy wheels. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and a certain well, I'll I'll just paint the picture here. Hang on. Sorry, Ross. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I went out to get my debut, it's still my only Mega Avalanche, and it's always beautiful, <laughs> dusty, obviously you're on the uh, glass here at the top and then you're flat out on all the dry trails, <laughs> but I went the year when it hammered down, For a week. it was horrible, and in dry trails became clay trails, I probably stopped 20 times to, to pull so much crap out of the wheels I couldn't turn the wheels, hated it. it. took me, instead of an hour to get down, it took me over two hours and I was just done. And then I saw you at the bottom with your both your tyres around your neck and yeah, you'd been, well you explain, you tell us what you've been given. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like the tyres, no? Oh, I love the tyres. Uh, yeah, so 2015 this was and um, Saddleback Ross and Ash kindly donated me a set of uh, MV 6040s for that yeah, year to race on. Do. My goal being to win the Masters 30 for the Mega. Yeah. Uh, qualified first in my qualifying heat and apparently it's Doc's favourite photo. Yeah. On Doc Ward's homepage, that photo is there with those envies in yeah. as they should be state. Uh, come race this Saturday, it was biblical rain. Yeah, murder. it was horrendous. It, I, I can't put it into context how heavy your bike was. Mm. Uh, in fact, memory of me, this a lot might touch a few people. I stopped on a course and I looked behind me, and behind me was uh, Kenny McGarry. Yeah, there. yeah. Uh, he couldn't lift his bike, and that's a big guy. He couldn't lift his bike, yeah, so yeah. I challenged him that I could lift mine. But I lifted it up and nearly fell off the hill. It was that heavy. Yeah. Uh, ran on a little bit further. Red mist came down. Uh, considering. At one point in the race, I was in ninth position overall. Yeah. And um, once I hit the mud, over 200 people overtook me. Couldn't go anywhere. Yeah. So uh, in the red mist, I took my tyres off and um, rode down the rest of the hill on my rims. On MV. This is MV rims that are a thousand. Rim. Carbon. Carbon rims, a thousand pound a piece. Um, Same I'm, as these behind. I will say now though, but I did refit the tyres on those rims two days later and they did go up tubeless and That's they were amazing. still round and I could still ride on them. And that, that and is you'd done several half, miles on half rocks. Half the Mega Avalanche course down road, tarmac, road, rocks, everything. So yeah. about five miles. Where did you finish overall? That year. Did you get a result? 254th. That's not bad. Wow. <laughs> with no tyres on, really. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it was a crazy year. Wow. <laughs> yeah, really crazy year. impressive. Well, let's hope it's dry this year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, you've got a little other thing up in your arsenal, haven't you? Not not really bikes, but I think it's quite interesting. You're quite handy at the martial arts, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I keep it quiet. Is it? Yeah. Is it? You didn't tell me this when I signed up to help. Yeah. Have you upset him yet? <laughs> uh, no. No. I'm actually you. quite hard to upset, aren't yeah, I? I yeah. Yeah. Look, he is. I will I'm say, out of all the organisers, you are the most chill. Uh, you, Chris Roberts, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the most chilled out, um, positive, nice guy. But then when you're, what are you, fourth black belt? Yeah, fourth, fourth degree black belt in fourth. Hungar Five Animal Systems. So. so that's all weapons? Uh, five animals, weapons. What does five animals mean? Uh, so we got, we start with the fist form, basic fist form, then we do tiger, crane, leopard, yeah. snake and dragon. Those are the five animals. So you have to fight all of them. In character, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> then we do pole, then we do broadsword, yeah. then we do this thing called the five elements. Yeah. So, uh, it's been quite a while since it's so it's fire, earth, uh, my brother's going to kill me because I forgot um, seafood, I do apologise. Uh, and then we learn lots of fly knives, yeah. which is our fourth, but actually before that we learn three pattern, which is the whole thing. And then it becomes a form called ten pattern, and well, that's pretty much 16 years of training to get wow. to that stage. So. Wow. And yeah, have you ever had any people at the races sort of uh, say, I'm not going to pay you 
No, funny enough. Like, <laughs> like that with your butterfly knife. No, not at all. Not <laughs> at all. No, no, it does. It changes you as a person, kind of thing. Yeah. It teaches a lot of life skills and how to deal with people. So it's. Yeah. Uh, Having said that, if you have got any complaints about Charlie's races, you're better off making a phone call. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. For yeah. That. yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. funny enough, if you do want to speak to me, a phone call is also the best way to get hold of me. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. I like that, that's old school. I much prefer it. It's yeah, it's so quick. Yeah. Simple, then. Remember that. University. Yeah. You're at uni, aren't you? How does yeah. that how does that work around what you're doing? Challenging. Yeah. Um, like I said I have got a lot of time. But fitting it all in, um, you know, classes got one every day for two two and a half hours. Yeah. Um, coursework. I've got two exams coming up now, so that's my last race before my exams. Um, it's just a stress ball, you know, because you just don't want to be in your room. Yeah. But at the same time, you don't have a lot of time to go on your bike. It's winter mostly. Yeah. Um, and the gym can just be a horrible place sometimes, especially when you're around. You know, like, you know, what what yeah. is it you're doing at uni? Business management. No, I. But like with marketing next yeah. year, I that's not your real skill, is it? No, he's got a different skill. Yeah. Do you want to talk about it? Which one? Which one? He's, I, he's multi talented. You're a bit of a dab hand on the old uh, microphone, aren't you? Uh, karaoke, you know. That sounds bad. <laughs> the guitar. Really? Karaoke, well, yeah. karaoke. I do a couple of gigs now and then. I've seen you singing, you're good, yeah. aren't you? Well, I'm doing my best. If your no, mountain bike here you. doesn't yeah. work, you'll be okay. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just something they do on the side for money. That's another thing about uni. I've struggled this year. Like my parents have helped me out massively. Um, people say, "Oh, student loan, student loan." I got hundred quid every student. Um, like when you student, you get free payments. Yeah. I've literally had about hundred pound on really? top of my homes. That's it. Mm, and it's yeah. it can get quite not stressful, but like it can bring you down. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and everyone at uni is doing the same, you know, everyone's feeling the same. You know? Yeah. We had that trouble when we were at university, didn't we? So yeah. <laughs> I didn't go much. University of life. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that trouble <laughs> trying to buy, uh, purchase the next pint in the pub, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. More so. I don't like going out We, often, we did the university of being people's labourers. <laughs> <laughs> Come a long way, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what about your filming? Tell us a bit about your filming. Um, yeah, so although I got my own little like video blogs online. Yeah. My also job is filming race events and stuff like that. So my background I've done a bit with AJ. Yeah. Um, AJ Jones. He helped me out massively. You know. Yeah. Got me to where I want to be. Um, and then Charles with Airshot. Yeah. After them two came along, um, John Oldale from Marin. Yeah. Gave me an opportunity to do their. Um, uh, bike loads last year, so I went up to 417. I was one of the first on the bikes. Met um, uh, Sippy, the guys who uh, build the bikes. Eric Carter, I met. Yeah, oh, that wow. guy's uh, pretty much a legend. Mm -hmm. I'm quite happy to film with him. And yeah, next weekend now uh, I do all the Chris Roberts events as well, so I'll be at Minion Duo next weekend. Um, that, so. Well, before we go on to talking about Mini Enduro next, uh, I think it's time for the Trailhead Photo of the Week, Doc. Take it away. Do you want to talk through this one, Jim? Yeah, obviously we got a bit of a delay here, so tell me when it's up. It's up. It's up. So this is, uh, is it me on... It's you, it's on... Stage Champs. Stage three. Stage three. Student Champs. Oh, it's going... <laughs> yeah. It's going... Around the road jump, <laughs> <laughs> where on the Saturday I was practicing. Uh, I've never done that road gap. I'm quite happily admit I've never done it. It does scare me that one a bit. And uh, so I've always said it's just as quick to go around it. It probably I know it isn't. You probably got what do you reckon a second? Could be. Could it? Well, it depends if you stay on. Well, I was it? going as fast as I could round it on the Saturday and I got round it all right and then crashed my brains out afterwards I've got like a sore elbow and sore knee. I but, think uh, with that road gap is... The, the two boys are looking a bit disappointed with the side. Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> you hadn't that's what they yeah. always look like when they watch a ride. <laughs> uh, just to say, that is one of your photos, isn't it, Doc? It's one of mine. Yeah. I think it's what people don't realise. 
Yeah. I, don't, I, I think what people don't realise about that road gap, it's only a bike and a bit long. It's the turn before it. Yeah. It's so washed out and hard. And then you got to really hike it up yeah, you to clear really, it. Yeah. You've got to put a couple of pedals in, and the landing is not easy after it either because no. it's a sharp The landing's left. dead rough. Yeah. Yeah. And if yeah. you come up short, you're going to have a big one, aren't you? So, um, oh. yeah, fair play to anyone who hit it really. Yeah. You're doing well. You did you? Yeah. Did you do it in your race run? Well, I didn't do it in the race run because I've got to. Um, that, that frame's going back for somebody else to use. Yeah. Know, I did it in practice on Saturday, yeah. uh, and I thought it would be fair to send it back in one piece. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't do it again. You're right. <laughs> it sounded horrendous. That makes me sound. That makes me sound a bit. That makes me feel a bit better that Sue didn't do it in his race one as well. I after it. So. Did you? Yeah. 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 Well, there you go. Yeah, so. Not an easy track for no. anyone to be honest. I think we should fire off some of the. Quick fire questions, Stu. Yeah, okay, then well, let's fire it up. And then we need to come back to uh, some questions and comments because there's a lot yes. coming in. Okay. Okay, well, well, should we do some of the comments first? Let's get them done. Okay, oh, what have we got? Big. Was that a. When's the next Welsh Gravity Injury Series? Yes, that's a good one. When is it? Okay, we're back, funny enough, at Eastridge yeah. on the 10th of September and entries for the autumn, winter, autumn, yeah. not autumn, summer series will open at the end of May. Right. End of May. And so. talking of that race, uh, one of the prizes tonight that's been given away is a free entry, isn't free it? Free entry to the Eastridge round, or actually yeah. a round of your choice. In the and some season. goodies as well, and so you better keep well. watching for that. Yep. we got one here, Mr. Snorkel Sucker. <laughs> also 29 a bike. I think I said that right. Thoughts on 29 are downhill bikes. Nice well, that's nice we've got yeah, go on. You can yes, start, go. we've got some thoughts on it. Yeah, Everyone's getting three thoughts on it. All, so. There's a track which Michael Jones and Laurie Greenland have shared on Facebook in Louisa, Portugal. Yeah. There's a 40 second sprint at the end of it through streets. Yeah. So I think um, they're not happy with it. But no. I think the and the track doesn't look that hard. I don't know if you can no. but it doesn't look that hard at all. So, um, a, a few a few people I know have been speaking to uh, certain riders. Um, Danny Hart was one of those riders, and he made a valid point. Uh, if you go to Fort William, why would you want to go any faster, in theory, than they go already? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean. But Mondrick have just bought a 29er back, not I think a lot of the companies now are yeah. looking at them. But Fox I mean, have done the 29er downhill yeah. fork as well. Are they going to have problems with, you yes. know, wheels, yes. more flexibility, mm. more blowouts? Yeah. You know, it could be risky. Yeah. It could work. Could work couldn't. But it's an interesting point, and it'll be interesting yeah. to see yeah. what happens with it. Yeah. I, I think we'll see him at Lords. I reckon we'll see a few of them at Lords, and people yeah. will be like, oh my god, he's turned up on that. Who knows? And if they start yeah. winning. Yeah. I think the shit's going to hit the fan That's bit, the it? first um, Dino World Cup, which this is weekend. this weekend this coming. Weekend, yeah. Exciting. Come on, we? boys. Uh, what else have we got? Can um, we have big log as a stage? No, we can't. We've decided that we're never ever going to race on that stage again. <laughs> I, think <laughs> I think we, we are going to have it, aren't we? I think we should put it in. I can't possibly Are we tell allowed you? to talk about um, what we were talking about earlier? No. Ideas at Midland Championship? Possibly. Mm. Possibly I next suggested year. that. I was my suggestion today and Charlie. I was, I was talking to Jim today and I was also talking to another person from your area at the weekend about yeah. this, the possible Midland champs. Because uh, we got Scottish champs, we got Southern champs, yeah. we got the UK champs next weekend. Then Welsh champs in May. Welsh champs. Yeah, a lot of champs. We have a Midland champs. We're missing we might out have a, a Midlands champs at a venue not far be. from here. Yeah, yeah. it's got to be. Well, we it's always had a Midlands it? champs in downhill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And more often than not, is it Eastwich? Yeah. Were you ever Midlands champion? I was, yeah. How many times? <coughs> Twice, I think. Oh, yeah. Mm. King of the Brummies. When I was young. Yeah. That's what we got. <laughs> Any others? Ashley did sell that diamond back in the end. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> we got. We're up here somewhere. Peter Longsocks, brutal. Brutal track, I think. <laughs> so, it, really. um, I think we need to talk about. Next weekend, what we got coming up? Uh, me and him are going to two different races. I'm off up to the is it, is it the UK Champs? I think it's the U National yeah. UK National Champs, yeah. and that's a uh, uh, PNBA at Rysdale. Rysdale. Yeah, that's a three-day event. I know they've got a lot. They got over 500 entrants. Wow! Is that three days racing? 
Yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's practice Friday and then Saturday, Saturday, Sunday. Saturday, Sunday has got five different stages on each day. Yep. And also at the same time, you are on the Sunday. You're, are you going down yep. two days? No, for I'm, I'm just going for one day. Mini Enduro Forest of yep. Dean. I'm just going for one day. I think yeah. there might be a big race on the go. Yeah. Someone else. So these might two are both racing. Your first go in the vets? My first race in the veteran category. And I think this year. there'll be some serious competition because yeah. you two are probably pretty similarly paced. But I uh, haven't raced for a while. But no, oh, don't <laughs> give us that. We know oh. you're off bit. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. racing two categories next week, though, hopefully. So one on the e bike and one in veteran yeah. just to give myself a challenge. Uh, so that's sure. Mini Enduro at the Forest of Dean. So yeah. I don't know how many entrants are left. Entries I think are left for the UK one. Uh, sorry, the uh, uh, the championship. But I know the that Chris has got plenty left for the mini. Yeah, but it is um, selling quite quick at the moment. Yes, yeah, yeah that's good. It always sells well, doesn't it? It does. It's a great yeah, yeah. place. I've got to say that I think the the minis, especially at the Forest of Dean, if you've never done an enduro before. It's just perfect. That's it's perfect. perfect. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's brilliant. Really, really, yeah, really natural good. stages, lots of loam, yeah. everything yeah. you need in the race. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, probably the good thing about this weekend is because you take all the quick boys out of it, really, who would enter that, maybe a maybe a bit of a. Yeah, we're not saying like, like, oh, well, What are you saying? No, no. <laughs> so if we win or we do well, <laughs> it's, it's not yeah. 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 gone. Okay. No. But you know, they could maybe a bit more for other people. He's backtracking. So you are you taking? Doc's GoPro and you're 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 going to vlog it as well. I'll be yeah? taking some uh, filming equipment and I'll be uh, yeah. bringing. Uh, and is Doc is going with you? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, we need to talk about that. <laughs> Apparently, okay. we need to talk about yeah, that. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right, okay. <laughs> so yeah, and we'll be splitting. I'll be doing all film different things from yeah. the PMBA. I'm going to get trying to get very creative with the GoPro. Um, I think we need to nail out these quick fire questions. What do you think, Stu? Yeah, just go on fire away then. then. The bottom one. Go on, then. Right, you start on. off then. Uh, how come there were four stages in a few of the WGS last year, now there's three? Uh, Mashup format. I did the maths on it, and due to the number of entries last year, it was better for me to run three stages for you for the amount of runs you did for the stages. Uh, four stages, it's actually too hard to practice in and um, race within yeah. the five hour period. Three was the perfect number. Uh, so that's why we did it. Just a numbers game, basically. Just a numbers game, yeah. pure maths okay. on that. Okay. I think three works. It's, it does. It's yeah. enough in it. Yeah. Within five hours. Yeah. yeah. Right. Shall we do this quick fire? Yeah. <coughs> Go on. Okay. <coughs> Pump track or dirt jumps? Pump track. Dirt jumps. Good lad. Hard pack or dirt? Dirt. Dirt. Downhill or enduro? Enduro. You could almost guess these. <laughs> <laughs> Flat out and scary or techy and tight? Flat out and scary for me. Techy and tight. Ah. Racing or riding with your mates? Sorry guys, racing. Chris, why did you say that? Riding with your mates. Uh, natural or bike park? Natural. Natural. Flats or clips? Clips. Clips. No. Local trails or discovering other places? Local trails for me. Local. Ooh. Bling or subtle? <laughs> <laughs> I will say I'm subtle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I'm right in the middle. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now you've got to say one. You've got All a gun right. at your head. They're going to kill you. Bling. Right. I've got hand guards. It's got to be bling. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stu? It's actually your go. Oh, is it? Carbon or metal? Carbon. Metal. Ooh. Small house, lots of land, or big house, small garden. Small house, lots of land, always. Same. Right. Fat grips or thin grips? Ones that fit my hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thins. Thins, you got tiny little, little hands, haven't you? Yeah. They really are small. Put your hand next to mine. I haven't got massive hands. Hang on, I'm going to do it the wrong yeah, way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Freak. Um, 29 er or 650? Now you're asking me because I'm rotten the crux of changing the 29er. So mm. at the moment 650B. 650 if I would like to try would like to try a trade. Who are you sponsors? Treads, Giant. What would you like? <laughs> Tread, the giant don't make a 29er. Yeah. yeah. Oh, get, get with it, Giant, come on. Yeah. 
Uh, tea or coffee? Tea. Hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> hey. uh, cats or dogs? Cats. Dogs. Fight or mediate? Mediate. I knew you'd say that. Yeah, so. Funnily enough, Leon Ross has said fight. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, burger or healthy? Oh, I know what you're going to say. Burger? No. Yes. Never. Yeah. I've never seen never. a burger. Yeah. I don't believe you've said that. What did I yesterday? <laughs> you got a shepherd's pie? A burger. Did you? Yeah, off the range. I think. Uh, I think, boys, it's time to talk about our product of the week. Uh, you can see them on the uh, on the table there. Doc should hopefully be running the. Have we got the photo. No, I ain't got the photo. Lost okay, it. so grab a pair of them. We've got the two different ones here. These are specialised uh, 2017 riding clip shoes. They're called the two FOs. These, the ones I've got are the light version, but they're the light version with the lace because you can get the ones with the dials as well, can't you? Which I was running last year. Mm. Yeah, like them. Them. I thought they were fantastic. Better than this uh, I found that they were great, but oh, after tuning. a lot of riding, uh, the dials got a bit loose, and when you're walking through undergrowth, they don't do themselves. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yours are the, the slightly I think these heavier. Are, yeah, these are downhill version. Downhills, free yeah, ride yeah. ones. Um, got a bit of yeah, they've got a bit more space, so you know, yeah. getting in and out's a bit easier. Uh, and by all accounts, uh, doing a water test, they dry out quicker than yeah. most <laughs> of the shoes. <laughs> and these are these are I think it's size, I think it's based on something like a size ten UK, eight hundred and nine grams, and they're about a kilo, something like that. But um, um, yeah, they're still a very light shoe. Well. Yeah, yeah. And they, I've used them for a couple of weeks now, and comfy. Very, first ride, they're a bit. I had to slack them off, you know, sometimes yeah. when some are so firm that they're horrible on they the first ride, they're a bit like that, but after the second ride, I'm yeah. starting to tighten them up more, and they fit yeah. really well, they don't move up and down on your heel, there's yeah. a lot of shoes that do that, don't they? No, no I'm, I'm well impressed on them. I've had a couple really of good. different shoes, and I think, like, they fit the best. So yeah. No and, all that, so. and I like that as well. Lots and lots of movement on the cleat. You know, you can go right back, back and right forwards. Yeah. Um, they've got they're stiff that way, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. So that's them. They're hundred quid. Hundred quid a pair. About, about on the money in it if yeah. you compare them to other things. Yeah. Uh, mm. That's the product of the week. We better um, do channel sponsors. Otherwise channel we'll get sponsors. Told off. Yeah. <coughs> on, shoe. Well, we've got the um, V tire. Yeah. Trailhead. Trailer uh, bike shop, bum butter, bum butter, yeah. Which I don't know how many people uh, needed any of that this weekend, but it was warm, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So it definitely stops the chafing. And it's good. Well, just a, just a little note for people who might not know, any of that sort of cream for around your special regions, bang it round your round your uh, round your knees for your knee pads, and it stops some chafing. Have you ever tried that? Yeah, I have AJ to do told it. me to I do have that. To do it really mm. Have you? Oh, oh, there you go. Mm. Who else have we got? Mountain uh, bike adventure, Mountain bike. Portugal. Yeah, yeah, our friend Jim Carroll. Uh, in Busy Frame. Trailhead. Said trailhead. Have we? we said, said it again. again. Well, that means he owes us another 16 yeah. quid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, of course, Zach's underwear. So that's them lot all sorted, isn't it? What's that? Do you want to talk about the latest films? Yeah, what we got at the moment. we are going to have to get a toe down because we're... We're not far off, are we? Uh, the Sheffi I think much. the Sheffield was the last one that was out, wasn't it, Doc? No, the jumps. The jumps. Oh, of course, we've yeah, got the yeah, jumps, yeah, the day at the trail. Just a little one. Yeah, yeah. 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 That, was, that was the night that we should have done the show. We just did uh, a nice bit of drone work there, wasn't it, Doc? Uh, obviously, you have to subscribe. If you're watching this on sort of catch up on Facebook, you need to subscribe to Pin TV to get the latest um, notifications via email. Um, and we are Doc. Uh, well, it's more Doss, isn't it? He? He's done some filming from this weekend, and Doc's done a load of drone work, and I was doing the GoPro stuff. And we are putting together our hopefully our best film yet from your round because this is the first one that we are actually getting sponsored. Um, so we've got to do a nice job, and we've got a deadline as well, which is middle of this week. So uh, that should be out in the next few days with a bit of luck. So uh, don't worry, you'll be 
certainly be notified about, about that if you're on uh, follow us on any of our media. Yeah. Um, Starling bike build. Is that Starling bike build? I think I think you've got a bit of that footage in Darcy's. Darcy, Darcy's been on holiday, hasn't he? Yeah. That's. Uh, if any of you are wondering why we haven't had many sort of things out in the last few weeks, Darcy's been on holiday and he's had most of the footage. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, he didn't take it with him, did he? No. Silly bugger. Um, <laughs> and yeah, we've got, the, got that build, and we've got the Welsh Enduro. Um, did that one at Royal Gaznach. So I've got the footage from that. That's another one, Gaznach. <laughs> um, I think it's time to talk about Dovey. I think that's Ooh, the important thing. thing. The reason you're here, actually. Yes, Dovey. Uh, For no other Dovey reason. Dovey was a background. Yeah, yeah, bang it on, bang it on. It's got sound on it, hasn't it? Yeah, play, play, it's got some music. Play the video, play the video. Play, play the video and then you can talk about it. Yeah. Okay. Right, so we're back on. We've got right. a bit of a delay here on that. Let's that talk about that this. That looks amazing. That that is well, thank you. I thought that was the end of all that. About it. Sorry, let's talk about it. It's unique. It's uh, well, it's the Bird Gravity Enduro Welsh Open. It's on the 20th and 21st of May. Yeah. Uh, I've managed to shorten the loop. A lot of work this year. I've managed to build two stages in Mac. Yeah. Uh, one is a rebuild the ES stage from last year. Yeah. And a whole new fresh one for the event. Three others in the forest. Uh, there's a Welsh Open category which is five stages, and there's also a sport category for those guys who want to have a go. Three yeah. stages. It is also the EWS qualifier yeah. round number two for the for the UK. Uh, you don't need to be a ember member mm -hmm. to do the race, but if you want to get qualifier points. It's the advisor will be a member before. So how the does race. that work? Does that qualify you for next year? For next year, 2018 right, okay. World yeah. Series. So yeah. it's your best three, best three results count. Right. Okay. Uh, it gives you a much better chance of in the lottery. Okay. And in all categories. Yeah, all categories. all categories. So same categories as UK. Uh, well, Welsh Gravity Enduro. So how many stages again? Five stages, 45 kilometres. That's the that's the big loop. That's the big or you one. can do the smaller loop, which is three stages over 32 kilometres. Okay. And how many entrants? Uh, we'll see. Uh, up to 300. It can go over 300. We'll see how it goes. So yeah. you've done some work. A lot of it natural. Yeah. 
we can definitely vouch that Dovey is as gnarly as you'll get in oh, it really good. you know it you're only going to match that if you're going up to Scotland aren't you yeah yeah it's got pretty much everything you want yeah, yeah. Uh, two of the stages are only for this event you cannot ride them outside of a oh, race wow. event so so if you want to do something in Wales that is as gnarly as it can get and you don't have, don't want to drive all the way up to Scotland get entered Yep. Yeah, sit yeah, entered. Yep. And how do you enter that? Just on your website? Uh, you go Welsh. on welshgravitenduro.com and click on entries, or you can go direct to www.mordert.com and click on their events. Yeah, and it'll okay. come up Brilliant. under Welsh Gravity Enduro. Yeah. Just a shout out to Gavin for filming ah, yeah. his drawing as well. Gavin Pugh and also Rich Marsden for coming yeah. to help with the dig. Awesome dude. Yeah. 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 Brilliant. Stu, do you want to do that? Yes. Quick plug. Am I live? Yeah, go on, mate. All right. We've been talking about this one for, well, we mentioned it about um, six weeks ago, was yeah, it? Something like yeah. that. Um, the guys at Decade, very kindly, uh, are off in a competition. So, this is actually my helmet. It's the 100% aircraft. They do loads of different colours. This is the carbon nice one. Nice looking, that. Um, mm. And next week, starting next week, we are going to be offering uh, a raffle. So, uh, Doc will have the details for you regarding that. And uh, yeah, you'll be able to enter the competition and probably, it'll probably what, how long are we going to run it for? Probably a month, six yeah. weeks, something like that. <laughs> and you will to. have the opportunity to win one of these helmets. You will be able to choose your colour and your size. Two years. Let's run it for two years. <laughs> yeah, and then we will be uh, closing Pin TV and moving to Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get entered. So that's do you know the um, the model that 100. percent It's the aircraft. The aircraft. Uh, it's yeah. not a cheap helmet. No. Um, I, do I do a cheaper helmet. They do a cheaper, a less expensive well, carbon, helmet. You don't get a car, any carbon helmet. No. Cheap. Do I you? think that's these are good. about 450 dollars. Wow. Um, so who wants whatever. to raffle off a cheap helmet? Let's be honest. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. But that's it's a good helmet. I'd vouch for it. Yeah. it yeah. It's uh, it's very comfortable. Um, so I think what are we going to talk about? Prizes. 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 Yeah, yeah, giveaway yeah. prizes. What so, do you want to give away? Tell what us what we're going to give away and then we'll tell you what the you questions. Okay, first up we have from our sponsors at Welsh Gavage Jury we have Mud Hugger, a Mud Hugger, and from our other sponsor, Rickens and Soderstrom, a bottle of their number three chain loop. Uh, quick word about this. It's one of the best lubes I have ever used. You need to use it two or three times, but your chain and your cassette will last twice as long. It is right. properly good. Okay. One of the best I know of. So, I love it. And I use a lot of stuff, so. So the question for that is. So, there's no, there's no answer online for this. Um, See, no one really knows you neither, do they? This is for, uh, this is for the live viewers, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's a bit of a guess question because you won't be able to find the answer to this. Is how many times have I raced a Mega Avalanche race? Right, okay. You know the answer to that, don't you, Doc? So look out for that. And then, uh, do you want to tell us the other prize that we've got here for the live? This is for the live viewers as well. So, the other prize is a free entry to the Welsh Gravity Enduro Mashup Series Summer Autumn. Round of your choice. Uh, all you have to do is email me if you win. Same question. Second person to guess it. All right, okay. Mm. Well, that's interesting. Mm. Doc will have to be on his toes to yeah, work right. that one yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Okay. No. 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 Look at him coming no. in. No. Wow. <laughs> Someone's oh, close. Oh, close. Oh, Cockhead was close. Oh. oh. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> higher, higher. They've said pretty much everything it's except that one. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Rich Marson didn't even know it, and he knew from the Ooh, weekend. Someone's got a bit high oh, there. Slightly high. Maybe. Maybe. No. 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 Yes. Oh, yes. Roger. Roger Pallister. Roger Pallister. You've got the first one. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Matthew Cockhead. Matthew Cockhead. Roger Pallister and Matthew Cockhead. So, Matthew. Roger wins. Mud Hugger and. We can start a strip chain loop. And Matthew wins the free entry to a race. 717. <laughs> yeah. That's it. I'm not sure about Good that. Good to one. have you back, Matt. I haven't seen you for a while. He's old enough to have done a friend of mate, 
So, Mr. Mudhugger. Yeah, yeah. We've done an hour. Yeah. We've done an hour. We're boring people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are the cats going? Uh, yeah, just going to mention also, well said, we have, uh, you may be able to see them down there, just about our caps, we, you can buy our caps from our uh, Facebook page, £15 each, Pin TV caps, and talking to Facebook, social media, etc, time to say our Instagram names. I'll do them, because you always you do them. You do, do you know mine? Yeah, of course I do, I, I haven't got a memory like you. Uh, at Jim Buchanan 955 correct at Hughes 954 at Welsh Gravity Enduro at Life of Lewis easy three, three, of three Lewis. S's uh, yes, don't yeah. forget to like and subscribe Pin TV on YouTube yeah and next week we will see you again with Smiley and uh, I think someone else is coming on as well can't remember him can't be very important. Nah, nah. So we'll see you next week. A massive thanks for joining us. And to the audience. I'm not yeah. my hat off. And thanks to climbing so the walls for the <laughs> Yeah, for the and new also venue. climbing the walls. Get yourself up here, check it out. Now. See you next week, folks. Bye. Yay.